that? I think we're full tension on the top. Yeah, we should be. Are you, he never it's touched like, the top? Uh, nope. Same hey, time. Yeah, this model. Yeah, it's, it's called the anti gravity rig. Yeah, the anti gravity anti gravity rig, rig yeah. and it has a full no, range of motion up to ten feet right and then down to the floor. Healthy. And it will it's it's buoyant throughout the range. Okay. So you can you can basically run up a flight of stairs and hand it out a window if you wanted okay. to. What's so the price point on this? The price point is ten grand for the base unit. And then the extensions it's about fourteen five all in. Fourteen five. Yeah, with yeah. the with the extenders and the monitor ramp wrap and everything right. else. Yeah. I mean, it looks like you're a mech now, you know? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing on your uh, distension? Good. I just so good. Good. Yeah, yeah, fix it. All right. So, uh, basically, okay. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, let's take any gimbal. It, we're going to add other attachments in the future, just for simple camera support. But um, this gives you, this gives a production company the ability, or just a single filmmaker, the ability to get a, a range of shots that were really exclusive to the domain of bigger shoots. Right. So you can see he's doing these beautiful creamy boom shots without any need for counterweights. Yeah. So we, we literally hiked to the top of a large hill like a mountain and we're able to um, get these beautiful crane shots. That, how would you get that otherwise? Yeah. I'm sure there's so, folks out there that would go, hey, yeah, you know, 10, 14,000 is a lot of money. But yeah. if you translate that to what the, like they're doing yes. in films, you're talking 150 or 200,000. Right? right, and you know, even on a lot of the rigs on the market, just to get rid of this level of translational vertical motion, it's called the wow. y-axis, okay. is would cost you over this. So this is actually a great bargain in that um, the, if you look at what you're getting for the money, it's an unbelievable bargain, the type of movement. And frankly, even for a high-budget film, there are some shots you just can't get any other way. We did a shot uh, off somebody's shoes on an escalator while we were on the escalator with them and moved up their body into a way overhead shot. Um, and that was, you know, something... Yeah, and you can also shrink everything down. Everything's telescopic. You can go through doorways with this as well, so it's multi-configurable. So, what's the materials we're using here? I mean, what are these? Uh, it's a mix, mostly. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. The the actual lines are a very heavy uh, latex. Um, these are bands that are used in the uh, medical field, the exercise. Okay, so these are, those are almost like rubber bands. They're very very powerful rubber bands. So this is similar to the tires on a car. You always want to make sure they're in good shape. Okay. You know, you can have an ex, you know, Bugatti, but you got to make sure the tires are good. Absolutely. Um, and we've never broken one yet. We've tried. We've okay. nicked them. We've pulled on them. They are so strong. Um, but just the same, you always want to. We, we, we give you plenty of extra bands. Um, and the, um, you know, and the other materials is this is all anodized 6061 aluminum, which has just the perfect amount of give. It's really as light as carbon fiber. Um, and then we have other areas where it's carbon fiber. The uh, vest weighs a uh, total of 20 pounds. It has, it's built with a special polypropylene insert that keeps a rigidity, but it's very lightweight. HDPE, um, lots of different layers of foam, it's ex and it gives you all the weight on front so of the hips. what's the learning curve on setting this up when someone gets it? Do you guys have videos? We had, yes. a, guy, we had a guy who just tried it on mm -hmm. over by the uh, Central Hall, and he just put it on, he was running around with it, doing the whole thing. It doesn't yeah. take much training. Well, obviously, it's not going to come set up like this, right? We no. Ship it out. Well, so when we ship it out, it folds down. The whole unit folds down to about here, so you're going to be able to get it into a Pelican case about 25 inches long, which is, in, so, and the accessories would fit in another small case, so it's extremely portable. And but it does not come with a case and all that? No, it's not like a full IKEA setup. I mean, you have a few pieces you need to put together, and the threading diagram is very simple. Okay. Um, no, the setup time is not long, but the main thing is, is because you're getting all the axial stabilization handled by the gimbal, um, really inexperienced operators can get beautiful footage almost right away. Okay, and one quick question. Yeah. What's going on here? I notice he's got these oh, brackets the excess on the bands. So yeah. this is just, these are little saddlebags that hold the excess bands. Right. We discovered, we wanted to keep the unit very, very lightweight. Okay. and not too complicated to keep the price point reasonable. So we don't have these really fancy retrieval systems. This is the most lightweight option, and it's very user-friendly. He has active tension adjustments, so we can just literally tweak one of these cleats and you can change the tension dynamics of the balance. Okay. So the thing that you have to get used to is how to create the dynamics on the arms, but it's, it's pretty fast. Okay. Yeah. Very nice.
Yes. Yeah. And uh, what's the name of the company? How do oh. people find out about this? Okay, we're Cinema, Cinema Devices. Devices. Oh, there you go. Uh, See, he's ready. Cinema <laughs> Devices. And it is www.cinemadevices.com. Okay. Um, we have a contact. It's the, called the Anti-Gravity Rig. We're delivering in July. We are taking orders now for July. Okay. So if you want to get one in, we're almost um, at capacity. So this is the time to order it. <laughs> and uh, let us know. We'd love to hear. There's a contact page. We'd love to hear from everybody what type of production you're in. And we're really excited to see what you can do with the rig. Also, great. Let me just get some shots now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool, right, Mix? Yeah, I like that. The fact that you can run upstairs is incredible. You know, if you're a production crew, um, yeah. that's really affordable to get into. It is. And uh, you can have one guy you know, pretty much running all day without getting... Uh, I mean, yeah. those arms even go longer, too. Yeah. They do extend out, and it does collapse down, as he told you, yeah. right through a doorway. But again, you know, instead of wasting all the time building your jib, building your dolly, getting your steady cam ready, and having multiple people working on that. You have one operator doing three jobs. Yeah, just run and gun it. Yeah. You know. Now, I mean, obviously you work with cinema devices, but how does, how does it feel? You know? Oh, it feels great. I've been yeah. wearing this for four hours a day, yeah. straight, without you, taking you it off. here every day. I haven't seen anyone else do yeah. it. Okay. And so I feel nothing in my back, nothing in my shoulders. If you look here, I can stick my hand right through the here. Oh, okay. So none of that weight is here. It's all right here in my hips. Okay. Uh, for camera guys who are going to be wearing this, they want to know how fast can you get out of that? <laughs> Pretty quickly. <laughs> if you have to use the yeah. Pretty quickly. Um, you know, total setup time, uh, once, you know, 30 minutes. That's from out of the case, ready to go. Yeah. And to put it back on, five minutes, you know. Take off, five minutes. Yeah. This is quick release here, quick release here, active tensioning. I can go at any point. Yeah. Cool. And just so if someone's going to ask me what gear is on here, what are we running? It looks like a cannon. So right now we're doing C300. Check in C300. This is where DJI Ronin. Yeah. Okay, this is the, yeah. just the Ronin, right? Not, no, yeah. This is the Ronin right yeah. 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 Oh, it's the M? Yeah. Okay. And we have a joystick okay. system made by Aerial Pixels out of uh, so, Los Angeles, California. Okay. We are using his uh, ribbon cables here yeah. as well. Okay. Very lightweight, um, nice so ribbon cables. Uh, uh, for, for drones and gimbals um, and all that. Right. We're using the 702 small HD monitor. Okay. Beautiful monitor. Full daylight ability. I can I can go out right in direct sunlight and still see my monitor without the hood. And right now we're also okay. using the yeah. Swift Trend Seat. Yeah. Okay, so what's your focus? Uh, that? You can take a so right now our focus, uh, uh, what do you mean? Like to focus the focus Oh, so camera. right now uh, we don't have Which a follow focus on it. Okay. Okay. We're just keeping it wide and okay. infinite focus. Okay. Yeah. So it's, you know, nice, beautiful wide shot, every, you know, at a 11 millimeter, you know, things are going to be, it's you know, going to be good. <laughs> you're not really dealing with a shallow depth of field at that right. point. Awesome. You know? Great, man. Thanks a lot. I Thank you. It. Yeah, this is high end, but I'm saying, 